What's up today, my fellow Madden soldiers? So what we're gonna be doing right now is another Dallas Cowboy theme team update. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So we got quite a few new players for the Dallas Cowboy theme team, and we actually got positions that we needed. So I'm very happy about that. So let me go ahead and click onto it. I already fully powered up the players to make it easier for you guys as I do this video. This is my actual second team that you're looking at. I am a 94 overall. The Dallas Cowboy theme team is a 93 overall with our offense being a 94 just to let you guys know that with all cowboy players so anyways here it is right here fully updated you can see right here cd lamb is a 99 overall we got dalton schultz so i'm gonna go over the abilities everything that comes with them and i'm gonna show you guys the new kicker that we got that we desperately need it so just stay tuned we'll do a go ahead and do a full breakdown so here we go. Just to let you guys know, if you guys have CD Lamb already updated, I mean, I'm sorry, upgraded, all it takes is 3K training to upgrade them to the next level. Okay, just to let you guys know, that wasn't a lot, so I was, I was very happy with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and read his abilities. His, that's his third tier, right? I'm, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Okay, so his X factors. His X factor, he still gets double me, rack him up, max security, grab and smash, ankle breaker, and yak him up. So none of that changed. First tier abilities, he's gonna get energizer, clutch, homer, reach for it, matchup nightmare, indoor baller, comeback, return man, mid and elite, recuperation, second win, and mid out elite. Second tier abilities, he's gonna get everything he got on the first tier. I mean, I, I figured they would have added a few extra ones, right? But they didn't do it. His, his third tier is where he's going to get the most. He's going to get deep in elite, deep out elite, mid in elite, short in elite, outside apprentice, mid out elite, short out elite, slot automatic, closer, evasive if you want it on him, spin cycle, grab and go, jukebox, slot apprentice, route technician, come back, reach for it, red zone threat, return man, energizer clutch and then everything okay everything else got on the first and second uh first and second tier as but the one that was added was runoff elite so all these other ones there was on the first second tier and then he gets runoff elite which is um, added on the third tier grants more convincing runoffs so here now his go his attributes so i just want to clarify for you without because remember they get they get i think a plus three uh plus three boost when you actually add the stocking stuffers strategy card so that's what i'm using right now so with that I, I was able to get a little bit extra so that's why he has 99 speed without that i get 98 speed so he's still up there but he does reach 99 speed without the stocking stuffer strategy card if you have both the wide receiver strategy cards to get the plus one speed i only have one okay but if i had the extra one i would actually get 99 speed on him but right now he gets 99 speed, 99 jumping, 95 catching, 96 catching traffic, 98 spectacular, 97 short route, 93 medium route, 96 deep route. Okay, so a few of those things are going to be like less, but everything else is probably going to be um, practically the same. So everything is pretty good. Look at 95 awareness, 99 acceleration. So this is actually pretty good. 96 carry, 96 spin move, 98 juke move, break tackle is 93. So everything is looking good. 89 return. I don't like using him as a return. I don't know. I just feel he'll fumble it. But I don't know. I just don't, even though he's not a nice speed, I don't know how fast he will actually be as a return man. Now let's go to Dalton Schultz. If I'm saying that right. All right. So let's read his X factors. He actually gets more than CD Lamb. Wow. Double me. Rack him up. Max security. Grab and smash. Ankle breaker. Yak him up. And Vanguard. Dom Dominity win impact blocks. First tier abilities, Energizer, Clutch, Homer, Short Out Elite, Short In Elite, Indoor Baller, Reach For It, Come Back, Mid In Elite, Second Win, Red Zone Threat, Mid Out Elite, or Mid Any, yeah, Mid Out Elite, and Recuperation. Second tier abilities, so he's gonna get the same thing on the first tier. The third tier, he should be getting a lot more. He gets Screen Protector, Matchup Nightmare, Deep In Elite, Tight In Apprentice, Closer, Deep Out Elite, Slotomatic, slot apprentice. That's actually pretty good that he's able to get that. Reach for it. It's mid out elite, mid in elite, comeback, red zone threat, energizer, clutch, short out elite, indoor baller, homer, short out elite, second win, and recuperation. 
now see his attributes. 92 speed. Take away the one, he'll have 91 speed, which is actually very good still. 86 strength, 95 catch, 93 catch traffic. 80, I mean, 96 spectacular, 90 short route, 84 medium route, and 90 run block. Wow. So it's actually 89 awareness, 96 acceleration. Jumping is 86, not that high, 95 catching, but it, you know, it's pretty decent. I'm all right with it. These are all his other abil um, abilities and attributes. I mean, I mean, not abilities, but attributes. He's only 97 right now because of strategy card. Without the strategy card, just so you guys know, because I added it after the fact, he was actually a 94 without the without that one strategy card for the for the stuffing stock or stocking stuffers, whatever. And CD Lamb was like a 96 without it, a 96 overall. Now we got Benton Mohoa. That's how you say his name. And he's a 97 overall. So let's read his X factors. He gets Fear Monger, Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Zone Hawk, Shutdown, Run Stuffer, Avalanche, Momentum Shift, Southless. First tier abilities. Wow, he gets a lot. So he gets Homer, Indoor Baller, Adrenaline Rush, Mr. Big Stop, Extra Credit, Bogo, Spinner, Swim Club, Speedster, Ripper, Stonewall, Reach Out, Reach Elite, Clutch, Instant Rebate, Unpredictable, Secure Tackler, Unfakeable, Under Pressure, Strip Specialist, Second Win, and Recuperation. Second tier abilities, so he's gonna get all the same stuff he got on the first tier, nothing new. Third tier is usually where they go all out. So he gets outmatched, defensive rally, double or nothing, no outsiders, goal line stuff, inside stuff, edge threat, El Toro, enforcer, stonewall, reach elite, tackle supreme, and then he's going to get everything else that he got on the first and second tiers. I'll, I'll just go ahead and show you guys as I go through just to let you guys know. So the only one that was added would be out of my way. I don't know why they always put him away way down here. It should have been up there with the ones that they didn't actually allow us to see. And for his actually secondary positions, he gets right in. I'm not going to use it on him, but he's able to get it. And if you want to know what he looks like as a left end, because I know some of you guys might want to use him as a left end, he is an 87 overall as a left end. So it's not that big of a thing. So I didn't actually add him there. I'm going to keep him as a right as a linebacker. Here's his art, cover art, or card art. So his attributes is 93 speed, nice acceleration, A2 strength. 97 tackle, 92 play rec, 89 block shit, 84 power move, 97 finesse move. It's actually pretty decent. I'll use them for rushing and I'll use them for coverage. It really don't matter to me. I use them for everything. It's just how I do it. 88 agility, 92 awareness, 96 acceleration, 97 jumping. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Oh, hip power is 97. Okay. But remember, a couple of those stats are going to be a little bit lower next time after the strategy card ends when they don't let us use it no more. But but for now, we're going to go ahead and add it. We add Nick Folk to the squad, which is our new kicker. If you guys don't know about him, he does not get Cowboy Cam. I wish they would give him a power up. They haven't. But once he's get a, if, if he ever gets a power up, he'll be able to get Cowboy Cam. He did play for the Cowboys. So even though he don't get the Cowboy Cam, he played for the Cowboys. So I added him to the squad. And I'll encourage any of you guys who, ha who haven't got him yet to add him to your squad if you run a Cowboy theme team. I'm just happy that, yes, he does get focused kicker. So we added that to him. So he, he is our new kicker. And that is the actually new person that we added to the squad when it comes to uh, the kicker. All right. So he didn't get Cowboy Cam, but he was a uh, Cowboy. So I'm happy with that. And we still got over 50 Cowboy players. We got 52 out of 50. So our team is actually looking real goonish. This is what it is. This is the full team, full lineup. That's the update. I will be getting some gameplay. I'm going to show you guys something real quick before I'm going to go back in. But let me show you guys this. We were 94 offense and 93 defense. We're close to a 94 overall as a theme team already this I wouldn't, it, it, it's not even that far into the season. You know, it's almost halfway through, I guess you could say. But that's actually pretty good to have this team team this high. Because uh, sometimes all the way to the end of the season, we we'll only have a 94 overall or 93 overall. So that's actually pretty good. So anyways, it's the, because we got Dalton Schultz, Schultz as a tight end, I left him as tight end. Billy Joe Dupree is our second, but I'll put him as fullback now. And he's a 90 overall as a fullback. We still have our other fullback. I'm, I'll go ahead and add him right now just for the Cowboy Cam wise. But, you know, I'm, I didn't want to get rid of him or nothing. I'm going to use him still. But I felt that 
Billy Joe Dupree would be a better blocker and a better runner than Keith Smith. So I, that's why I left him right there. But that's the only thing that I did different. I might move around abilities and everything else. If I do, I'll update you guys on that. I will be getting some gameplay. All my gameplay will be on Noble Peasant Gaming too. I just add, the, I just upload the full gameplay. Sometimes I do voiceover. Sometimes it's just live. Sometimes it's just the gameplay, you know, from the commentary from the game and so forth. I upload, I just upload it. Let you guys check it out. So you guys can you know, let me see what you like or whatever the case may be. Sometimes I edit, sometimes I don't. But that's who it's going to be for now. All my gameplays are going on Noble Peasant Gaming too. Um, go ahead and subscribe to it and check it out if you guys want to. Another thing, if they come out with that NCAA game next year, I will change that channel into an NCAA game and then have fun with that game over there. But for now, we're going to overload all the gameplays over there and just do that for now. But anyways, there it is there. If you guys like seeing what you see, and drop a like on the video. If you guys need sub subs to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming our way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.